Yo, what is up, bros? We've returned to check out another mod. We've got a final version of a Modern War mod. I've never checked any of the versions of this mod out. It is by this bro right here. Is that supposed to be Technology Rotasi? I'm pretty sure I nailed it. Anyways, like always, I will provide a link in the description to his channel, um, his video on this, where you can find the download link in the description. Warning though, he does use like a media fire uh, link, so you gotta you gotta be careful what you click on. Don't click on any of the ads. So it's like um, there's a countdown, and you press get link, and another window pops up. Close that out. You press get link again, another window pops up. Exit that out. Then when you come back to the original window, it should have the actual download file. At least that's the sequence that happened for me. So let's go ahead and start uh, with, uh, let's check out the generals. As far as generals, first tab, full of modern day generals. Second tab is classic World Conqueror generals, although Donuts and uh, Eisenhower got some new portraits. And the third tab is empty. And of course, if you want uh, resources to upgrade your tech, buy the Legion troops. Also, the medals hack is in the tutorial like it has been in most mods coming out nowadays. First one gives you pretty much unlimited medals. And then we've got these 2020 campaign missions. There are six of them. The first one, Campaign of Northern Middle East. We are experiencing problems at our border stemming from the PKK and the Assad regime and Iran. It is time to put an end to this. So we are playing with Turkey. Got a few allies. Iraqis are on our side. Are there different sounds? Nope, original sounds. Mission number two is a battle of East Mediterranean. Now. Turkey has become a very dangerous and aggressive after Syria and Israel be as imperative that we prevent it from us and we must uh, remove the Turkish army in Libya. So now we are playing with Egyptian forces and there are definitely Turkish troops in Libya. I like this dark gray color. It's almost like a, like a grayish, just like a really dark grayish blue. Anyways, um, got the U.S. Israel on our side. Half of Libya, Greece. Damn, Turkey stacked with troops. Why? Hold on a sec. Why is this stretch so much north to south? Look how long Greece is. Long boys. Long boy Greece and Italy. Next up, we've got the third mission, Caucasian Operation. Armenia has been attacking us for years. Military power in our favor if it was uh, blocked by Russia. But this time, we have Turkey with us. I don't know if Turkey's going to be much help against that Russian bear to the north. So, we've got Azerbaijan, Turkey, and uh, Georgia versus our Iran, Armenia, and Russia. Ooh, Russia brought in the, the tank army here. Damn, Turkey has a ton of tanks too. Shit, so does Iran. Poor Azerbaijan has no tank army. Number four is invading Balkans. Yes, you got to do that like at least once a century. Russia is committing illegal actions in Ukraine, feeding Serbs against Bosnia. It's time to retake our lands. So who we got now? All right, we're Turkey again. A little bit bigger map. Crap load of Russians. 
What's up with just all this open? No country spots. This needs filled in. Look a lot better if that was filled in. Um, okay, so. Turkish army is thick. Not quite as thick as the Russian army, but pretty damn thick. Except their one major ally is Ukraine, and that is it. Number five, we've got Jammu and Kashmir crisis. India has a problem with both China and us. And this antagonism often turns into conflict. We are now going to destroy India together with China. And that means we are Pakistan. Pretty decent army. We got the Iranians backing us. Uh, of course we got... Man, that's going to be rough on India. Now it's stretched east to west. Isn't it? Doesn't that look stretched out? Oh, maybe not that bad. And finally, we've got... Second Korean War. It seems that the recent trade war with the U.S. will turn into a hot war. With the support of Russia, we will invade South Korea, Taiwan, and Japan. So now we are communists join us with a massive army. Damn, look at that navy. Come on now. China really have a navy like that? US coming in hot. Aircraft carriers. What's the damage like on these? Damn, that's going to be a godforsaken bloodbath. That looks like that might be pretty intense. Alright, I think that is it, bros. Oh, no, it's not. What am I thinking? There's one conquest. Obviously, modern uh, layout. I did... I did go through this to see if, the, if there was, like, a lot of spam. There's, there's not. In fact, there was an absence of even countries building troops. Now, it says there is like two factions to start with. However, as I was cycling through to see if there was going to be spam, Turkey and its allies broke off from NATO. Although you start out allied with them. There is a break. Yeah. What's weird is like Europe doesn't have many troops. Uh, the U.S. doesn't have many troops, and they don't really build too many. This is like the, it's like the opposite of a spam mod. Damn. There is that, though. Remember that one mod? I forget that mod that I built all those, um, I think I built subs and just covered the entirety of the Pacific with them. Total waste of time. Anyways, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop, like, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Boom, honey.